I know it's coming up for Halloween, but that doesn't mean that your curly hair routine needs to be scary. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. On this channel, I teach you how to get your best curls and your best life. So if that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then subscribe and turn on your notifications. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. I feel so happy today. I think it has something to do with me using my phone less. Right now, everybody's like, wow, iPhone 12. But for me, I wanna start using my phone less because I woke up this morning with my new alarm clock that wakes you up with artificial sunlight and bird sound and that is so much nicer than waking up to my phone so just a little tip there let me just spread the happiness it could also be because I have coffee today which I never normally have cozy autumn fall vibes and I'm feeling buzzed I'm ready and I'm prepared to wash my hair and I hope that you are prepared to take notes so like I said at the start, you don't need to be scared of autumn, winter, curly hair care, but I do do things a little bit differently when it comes to the autumn, winter months. My updated autumn, fall, curly hair, wash day routine. So first things first, I step into the shower. I'm confident, I'm bold, I know what I want. I switch on the shower. It's coming out cold. I don't want cold water, I turn it up. Now it's coming out steaming. I don't want steaming hot water either. I find a nice middle ground. Lukewarm is where I wanna be. I I always recommend washing your hair in lukewarm water and if lukewarm is too cold for you to shower in that's fine like shower in the hot water don't wash your hair put a shower cap on and then afterwards some other point in time now go ahead and wash your hair so that you're washing your body and washing your hair at separate times so that you can use water that is appropriate in the summer it's a different question because you tell me lukewarm shower i'm like yep i'm fine with that you tell me cold shower i'm like line it up in the autumn in the winter that's a no go i don't want to be getting cold i don't want to be getting sick today however i am going to wash my body and my hair at the same time the shampoo that i'm using in this wash is by curl flow it's green tea and organic lemongrass it's sulfate free and it's for all curl types i love this one because it's made in the uk you know i love to support uk businesses this has no harsh chemicals no silicones no parabens no sulfates no mineral oil no propylene glycol no animal testing it's cruelty free it's handmade it's ethically traded it's paraben free it's silicone free and it's a family owned and operated business. I use a whole range of products, so don't go thinking that this is like my ride or die product. This is just one of many that I use. Lately, I've been doing this new thing where I try to leave a link for my UK followers and a link for my US followers, and if possible, a link for the rest of the world as well. So if that's been helpful to you, then leave it in the comment section down below, because I'm really trying to help you as much as I can with these videos. So I apply that to my hands and then onto my scalp and work it into a lather. Lately, I've been taking a second dollop and applying that to the mid lengths of my hair, just because I realized I did have an awful lot of product on my hair throughout the week like I've been applying daily products every day and I really just want to make sure that I get rid of all of that product build up so that my conditioner can be as penetrating and nutritious as possible you need to cleanse your hair properly in order for your hair to absorb the most amount of nutrition from your next product so that's why I've been taking it to my mid legs and then of course I go ahead and I rinse that all out again with lukewarm water my autumn curly hair routine doesn't differ that much from my routines from the rest of the year except for the fact that I'm going to try and deep condition every single week. For my deep conditioner today I'm taking the Curl Flow Mango Butter Deep Conditioner take a dollop of that onto my hands and I apply that onto wet hair. I apply a lot. At this point with conditioner on my hair, which is going to give my hair a bit of slip, Chill. this is when I'm going to detangle my hair. So I'm going to take my fingers first of all, just to do the basics. But then I always like to follow up with a comb and a brush. So I always use something like a tangle teaser, maybe not this one specifically, but it's usually a tangle teaser and I will detangle my hair and then I will apply a plastic cap to my hair or a heated cap and I'll sit for anywhere between half an hour and an hour and just let that do its work. Okay so when the time is up I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hair. At this point I'm not even in the shower anymore. I've probably got my dressing gown on. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do this thing over the shower. Let's not pretend we don't do that. Can we normalize that please? Can we just normalize normalizing normal please? Okay so now I've rinsed out all of my conditioner. While my hair is wet 
I'm gonna apply the rest of my products. I'm gonna do the squelch test. There's a certain level of squelch that works for me. It's like the super squelch, right? You know when you like go like this and a ton of water pours out of your hair when you squeeze it? To me, that's too wet to be putting products on because I feel like as soon as I put the product on and then squelch my hair, it all comes off. And then there's like over here where it's like you're squelching, you can't really hear anything. And then there's over here where you're squelching it and you can hear it, but like quietly. To me, that middle ground, that's perfect. That's where I want to be. That's when I want to be applying my products. Like it's squelching, but it's not like overflowing. There's no squelch in my hair right now, which means I'm going to have to go and re-wet my hair before I can apply any products. So let's go do that. My first product that goes on is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. This is a protein based product my hair is very fine and it took me a long time to realize that my fine hair actually really likes protein products if my hair ever started to feel hard or brittle then i would know that i'm using too much protein and i would have to cut down but right now my hair still feels like soft it feels healthy so protein is good then for my styling products i'm using two products by flora and curl that i absolutely love i am actually an ambassador for flora and curl which is amazing because i've been using them for years and we've only just like made this ambassador partnership so i'm just i'm so proud so these two styling products are the curl activating lotion and the curl defining gel so you can use them separately but they work amazing together i still comb my products through and rake them through my hair i'm not doing that thing that i saw on tiktok like if you saw the tiktok curly hair videos where she says scrunch it into your hair don't comb it through your hair i still comb my products through my hair what works for some people doesn't work for everybody this is very specific for my autumn fall winter curly hair routine i'm gonna be going out less my hair is going to be in a bun more often so i always had this issue where when i put my hair into a bun i would get tons of tangles back here because my hair didn't want to be like that like i would detangle it forward and i would style it all forward and then this part of my hair would be kind of stretched and placed forward like this and then i would go Ugh, and put it all up into a bun and my hair was like Ugh. like my hair was getting whiplash and it all gets tangled up in this big mess so for my updated routine this is what i've been doing i've been brushing my hair back like this I'm styling it backwards. That way I have seen so much less tangles when I put my hair into a bun. My hair is lasting so much longer because it's not looking all raggedy. It's amazing, it's a game changer. Do I air dry? Do I diffuse? Do I plop? The answer is all three. So I do my plopping in a really weird way. Do you know what? I haven't seen other people plopping this way. So for right now, I'm gonna call it Lana Summer Plopping Method. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if you've been doing this, if you've seen a ton of people doing this. So I put my hair back. I use this curl towel by Flora and Curl, which makes it really easy to plop with. And I kind of bundle my hair into the back and I pull it up and I bring it forward. It kind of encapsulates my hair into a permanent scrunch, which gives me the best definition ever. However, it does take a very long time to dry like that. So I only leave it like this for about an hour. If you were enjoying this video so far and you feel like you're learning, then you might also be interested to hear about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes ranging from anything from business, photography, crafts. I've personally been using it for languages and to get my splits. I am determined to get my splits by the end of this year and the classes on Skillshare have really, really helped me out. And like I said at the start of this video, I've started to feel a bit happier and I think that's because I've been more in touch with my creative side through a lot of the classes that I've been doing on Skillshare. If you feel like Skillshare could be useful for you, and I'm sure it will be, then you you will be happy to know that Skillshare and I actually prepared a gift for my followers. So if you are within the first thousand people to click the link in my description box, you will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so that you can try all of these classes for absolutely free. And if you do miss out, then don't worry because Skillshare is available for as little as $10 a month. And then after that, I unwrap it, I allow it all to fall down, and now I start diffusing in my usual diffusing method, which is to tip my head forward. I dry the roots first, which allows the rest of my hair to form a cast. It doesn't get the rest of my hair frizzy. And now I can have the perfect curls. And I probably only do that till my hair is about 80 or 90% dry. And then I just let the rest air dry. I don't like air drying in the colder months because I don't want to catch a cold. <laughs> I don't want to have a cold head. I don't want to be soggy and sad. I like 
I said, my hair is about 80 to 90% dry right now. So now I air dry it to help it do the rest of the 10%. One more thing that I didn't mention is that I also put oil in my hair because I don't want the dry, cold autumn winter air to suck out all of the moisture and leave my hair dry. So I put oil on it to help it stay hydrated. At the moment, I'm using the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil. It's solid, as you can see. It's cold out here. Meld it up on this through my hair. 346 minutes later. So that's the curls. They're feeling juicy, they're feeling soft, and they look fine. So I'm super happy with how this turned out. If you like this video, please thumbs it up. If you didn't like it, then please thumbs it down. Also leave me a comment, tell me what you wanna see on my channel next. Also get me on Instagram for all of the blessings and the breakdowns, cause I put it all on there. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.